Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do another life hack video for you and this one is specifically for spring break because I know that's coming up really soon for a lot of you guys. So these are like travel life hacks. So before I get into today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to the sponsor of today's video which is Audible. They basically have an insane selection of audiobooks, news, comedy, and so many more. I've worked with them before and I've told you guys my favorite way to use audiobooks is to pair it with like a school textbook and listen to it while I'm reading because I get so distracted while I'm working on homework, reading assignments, and things like that. So if I have the audiobook, it really keeps me on task. But obviously, I don't want to recommend a textbook to you guys because that would be really lame. Um, so right now, I'm listening to Before I Fall because the movie just came out, but I want to actually know the book before I go see it. So Audible wanted to make sure that you guys get to try them out for free. So if you want a 30-day free trial, all you have to do is go to audible.com slash HaleyW. You guys can download Before I Fall for free free or you can just pick out something else. Also, the Audible app is free. You can download it on iPhone, Android, on your Kindle. Again, that's audible.com slash HaleyW. Be sure to check them out. The link will be down below. Anyways, that is enough rambling. Let's get into the video. So I feel like jewelry and headphones are like so much alike because they tangle ridiculously and you just don't know how it happens. So this is a hack to help you with that, especially when you're traveling. What you can do is take whatever necklaces you're traveling with, side tip, just like chokers travel so much easier. I recommend just taking them because they don't seem to tangle as badly. But if you have another necklace that you just have to bring with you, here's what you should do. Take the necklace and lay it out flat on a piece of plastic wrap and then just fold the wrap over it. This is going to kind of like seal it and keep it in place and keep it nice and flat so that when you're ready to wear it, you can just reopen it back up and it is good to go. It is not tangled. I just think this is one of the most amazing hacks ever. So you guys can probably tell from my videos that my hair is super bleached and whenever I travel I want to make sure that I'm using this specific shampoo that I like so I normally don't use like hotel shampoos. So if you don't have a way to pack this with you or like any of those smaller containers, straws actually work as well and we always have a bunch of those lying around my house, I don't know why. <laughs> so what you can do is staple the bottom of the straw and you just want to do this on each one that you're using and then put some duct tape over that just so it like kind of secures it a little bit better. I'm not saying that this is 100% spill proof, but mostly this does a pretty good job. Also do this with stuff other than shampoo, like you could do Too Faced conditioner, a specific hair treatment that you like, I don't know. Just make sure that the straw is actually big enough to contain whatever you're putting into it. And then once you're done, don't fill it all the way up because you need to restaple the top and then put another piece of tape. I know this is not like the prettiest method ever, but if you don't have any of those mini containers that it actually does work pretty well like on the fly and then when you're ready to use it you can just cut it with scissors and you're good to go next up I have a packing hack for you and you guys might have seen this one before but it's so helpful I felt like I had to include it and that is to put your shoes in an old shower cap this will protect your clothes from getting dirty while you're packing because the bottom of your shoes will not be exposed and that way none of your clothes get dirty and I just think this is one of the most helpful hacks ever this is also really awesome so you can make a DIY pillow from a hoodie all you have to do is crisscross the arms and then roll up the bottom. Mine kind of looks like a loaf of bread, so if yours looks like a loaf of bread, awesome, you're doing it right. <laughs> then you just want to tuck in that bottom part into the hood and then boo, you have a DIY pillow. You could use this for you know, traveling on a plane or a train or just the school bus, whatever you want to. Um, this is also really cool if you're packing a lot of stuff and you don't want your shoes to get scrunched in your suitcase. You just stuff your shoes with them and then when you press it, it's actually still firm whereas like that other one didn't have socks in it. So continuing on road trips, one of the things that my family members seem to do a lot is bring like glasses at the beginning of the trip. Like they bring like an open glass and it always stresses everyone out. So have some like plastic wrap in your car because I swear this is just helpful to have anyways. And then you can cover the drinks this way so that hopefully this will prevent spills. I'm not saying it works 100% of the time, but it does definitely help. This next hack is super simple and I feel like it's really practical for traveling. All you need is a button. This could be like a spare button, one that fell off a coat, or if you're bringing like a jacket or something with you that has buttons on it, you could use one of those too. So all you need to do is take the earrings that you're not wearing at the time and put them in the holes of the center of the button. This one has four holes so I could do like two different pairs which I think is awesome and it's just an easier way to travel with earrings and keep up with them. 
Wrapping up with a few really simple hacks, the next one is to protect the head of your razors while you're traveling. All you need is a binder clip and you can place this over the head of the razor. This will hopefully prevent it from A, like marking up anything or like cutting into anything while you're traveling and also just from the head of it actually like breaking off. So this is really, really useful. This last one is one of my favorites and it is so helpful. All you need is an old makeup container. This is just like what my makeup wipes come in. And you don't have to like never use it for makeup wipes again. Just for while you're traveling, you can put a camera in it. So this should work for an iPhone too. My iPhone Plus is like too big, but if you have a regular iPhone, this should fit as well. It's just nice and structured and will protect your items while you're traveling. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it helped you out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.